hey guys uh, welcome back to my another video uh, this video is going to be a second video of uh, building the uh, angular uh, carousel in uh, angular from scratch okay and as you know now it looks like this if I go in next then it will show me this scale in effect here if I click next it's gonna show me a scale in effect if I go preview it's gonna go me a preview and here is the uh, the preview and the next of the document which we are in so if I go it here and if I go in my carousel now uh, in TS file and this I'm using scaling I can change the fade in effect as well which I have created previously so if I click it next it's gonna show me a next one okay if I go preview it's gonna preview our next one that's all it does so now what I'm gonna build is I'm gonna build a progress bar on the top of this one and this progress bar will uh, start has uh, the uh, start and pot uh, interval as well and I'm gonna use the R JS library of course it's a built-in in angular uh, using that one I'm gonna build that uh, logic okay so let me I already create was uh, I already create a service in part one but I remove it uh, so I'm gonna create it again so I'm gonna create ng generate service and this service is going to be inside the service folder okay and in the service here I'm gonna write in rx j rx js uh, interval okay so once it's creating here let me go in carousel and create the uh here the the progress bar and the progress bar is basically nothing it's just going to be ng style okay and i need to use the ng style inside this one and this is ng style and in this style we're, we're gonna create our object here and the first it is basically nothing it's just going to be a border top that's all and the border top i'm going to use the of uh, five pixel solid solid uh red and on the bottom here is going to be a width how how long that is going to be and I'm going to use something called counter value and I'm going to create what is the counter value from in angular typescript later on in component and the last one is I can use a transition effect uh, to sh sh make this little smooth uh, to go and transition transition effect what I'm going to use on transition effect is to use all and 0.1 second uh, I can use a linear animation okay and I don't have a uh, the counter here and in the counter I need to go to the uh, TypeScript here and TypeScript I can create a counter value and counter value let me do as a as a 10 percent for now so let me write this as a 10 10 percent oops not like here but here 10 percent so if I save it so now let's see how it looks like so I can see it goes up to 10%. Now it need to go 100% and I'm going to use create a, the service first to make this work as animations here. So, uh, so I'll just save it. Now I will go to my service and it's called RxJS interval here. RxJS interval service. And in this interval service, the first thing I'm going to create is the subject. So I'm going to create a subject here and this subject is basically nothing. It's just going to be a counter subject and the type what is type sorry subject and what's the type of the counter subject is going to be uh, something called i counter which i don't have it but i'm going to create this what's our counter is and this is going to be new subject okay new sub subject i don't know what's i counter is so i'm going to create my interface here call i counter and this interface has the pods and this is optional and pause is basically nothing it's just boolean and the next is the counter value the number and counter value is a number that's all and i need to export this as well because i think i will use this on carousel uh company as well i'm not exactly sure but i will just save it uh, and make it as export now once I have it here, I will create the init init counter and uh, init interval. So basically, it, this will uh, initialize my interval. And to initialize, initialize I'm going to use this as a counter subject. And in a counter subject, I will use a pipe. And I will just tell them. Uh, I will in the, inside the pipe we can use the operator for a lot of operator from RxJS. I'm going to use the operator called start with. 
uh, okay the intelligent doesn't give me what is start with so I will import it the start with from rx okay js operators okay so now I will import this start with and start with is just a function nothing and it, we just need to tell that what's the initial state of my subject is going to be and my initial state is a pause is going to be a false and the amount of my counter value should, should be a zero okay this is going to be my initial state of the pipe and right this is my initial state of the pipe and another thing is the next is i want to use a another operator called scan and scan is uh, another operator from the rxjx i will import that here from operator and scan will return me not this one scan will return me the accumulator and the value uh, accumulator and seed and i will return the same accumulator or seed to this object so i will get the same instance of it okay so every time when it's created i will get the same instance of it to the same instance of 2d my subject okay so once i've created a scan now the next is need to need to or we need to use a switch operator uh, switch map operator and we need to make sure that what's my stat or state will be on this one so this is going to be my state and I need to import this from rxjx as well it doesn't know where what is it so it's coming from rxjx operator which is good so in a switch what should happen and switch we need to check what my status is if it's pods then what to do uh, then do nothing so never never is also one of the uh, never is also coming from the rxjx and it's one of the constant i believe and it will return if something is not happen something is nothing not no need to do then we need to return the never so one is never and one one is state is more than never otherwise do the interval interval is, is also coming from rxjx in the interval we need to provide what the duration is going to be and duration we will pass from here and i'll just use as a number here okay so once it have the duration then i will just use this i'm not exactly sure why my switch map is giving me an error here okay let, let me continue on this one first so if it's duration then i'll return the pipe and in the pipe i'll return a map okay um, pipe has a map value because in a, we are using a map because on a state we need to increase the state not state okay i'm pretty sure that something is not right on here on switch map because i missed the comma here that's the thing nothing else so in a pipe now i need to use a map and inside the map map also need to import from rxjx operator okay so when we're using this map then inside the map not outside the map but inside the map that's the thing uh, i need to use inside the map here i'll return the value uh, i don't need this need to worry about this value i just need to worry about the value of the state i just need to increase this by the one that's all i need to do okay so i will increase this by one and after that i'll return this state uh, and i will return this as well and i will tell that okay my returning type is going to be observable of what of i counter okay so now i'm going to explain this again so basically what happened is whenever this is called then what will happen is that the counter subject will be initializing and the counter subject will use something called pipe and in a pipe function so it will start with the pause is false and counter is zero uh, value is zero and it will use a scan a scan will return the accumulator and seed and it's going to return exact accumulator and seed to this one the copy of this one and i'm going to use a switch map here switch map is basically just checking if it's pause then don't do anything if it's not pause then do the interval and interval of the counter value should be increased by the one and it should return the a new state okay that's all it does guys so now we need to return the the pause counter what happened if it's pause p a u p a u is the pause counter and pause counter is basically nothing i smell it uh, i misspell it here the pause counter is basically nothing it's just the uh, subject which is counter subject and we just need to call the next observable for this and we'll just tell them okay the pause is false okay uh, not false but true 
because it's a false state okay so what happened now it's a boolean value i give the boolean value here something is not right Okay, I counter is missing. Okay, make me. Uh, I need to make this as optional. I'm not sure why I didn't make it optional because I need to make this as optional here. So now another one is a call resume, right? We resume counter. So whenever it's going to resume, then uh, the pause should be false. Okay, don't do a false. That's all I need to do. So my RX JX interval service is ready to use it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in carousel here, and in the carousel I'm going to use that so i'm going to call that using a private here uh, okay make this as small rx x and let me import this okay it doesn't know my intelligence doesn't work here so i will import it from from service which is on one level high here okay so okay okay so once i have it here so now i could use this on my component so the first thing what we need to do is on ng on init here instead of this i will i will call something called i'll create something called init interval so whenever this is uh, will start then it should start my interval okay so on starting interval is basically nothing it's just i just need to use these functions and where we create what it really does so i'll just create an inter interval which will check my the value and this value is going to be a time multiplied by 10 and in this time we can specify what time we want and in the time here I could create something called time and let me write this 5 which is going to be a 5 second so now it will go to the 5 second and I can subscribe my timer now here and subscribe now I can use a D where I can get the data and in the data now I will use the counter value which I have it here I have a 10 person here, so I don't want any person here. I just use a counter value and this is going to be string but nothing else. This is a string and the counter value is going to be increased every time. So I will get as a subscription here the counter value. The counter value now I need to concatenate with the percentage because it will work with the percentage. And we have to also end with it if is the counter value is equal to 100. I mean, if it's equal to 100, right, the counter value will reach 200. Then what you need to do is I need to call the next one. I mean, I need to in if it's the, here is a timer we need to provide and we need to make sure this or the data which is coming from here is a hundred percent. If it's hundred percent, then we need to go to the next one. So on next is basically it's just go to the next one right here below it. Next functions and in the next function, what we need to do is whenever it's going to end, go to the next one here, then we need to call the interval here. So we need to call the uh, init interval okay init interval so whenever it's 100 percent then we need to call the init interval interval the same with the preview one uh, no we don't need it for preview one we just need for the uh, next one so whenever it's going to be next then then we just need to call the interval i think we need for preview one too whenever they click the button then it need to go for preview one i'm sorry guys we need for preview one as well so once i have this 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 now every time it's going to initiate this so we have to make this as the interval and we need to make sure that this is on subscribe whenever it's going to start at first time so i'm going to create something called interval interval and make this as a subscription subscribe subscribe Son, and we need to make sure that if if this interval has something inside it i mean if it has an object then make this interval to unsubscribe and i need to change this to interval this one so that's all i think it should start working now let me check magic happen yes it does so now it's starting as five second i put here as a five second so now every five second it will go to next one so now it goes to number three of the document now what happened after that it goes to number one right it every goes to number one if i click on previous then it will start from the beginning if i go into next scar from the beginning so i just need to create the pause and resume mode right so how we can create that so we can use the or the function here from the angular Call host listener so this is my carousel component so whenever the my carousel component is mouse is enter right 
so i'll create a host listen just listen it and i'll tell them whenever my mouse is enter then it's just pretty easy we already create that uh, service so rxjs service uh, we just need to uh, do a pause that's it whenever the mouse is enter just pause it and whenever the mouse is leave then resume it okay that's all so now if i go in if i click it if i hover it it's pause if i click okay let me try one more time if i hover see if i hover it it's going to pause the session so it will give it same mode if i go next i can pause i can resume i can pause i can resume after it if i go go preview it's goes normal so that's all guys hope you guys like this video i'm gonna put this code inside the github uh inside the github or in a github and please do subscribe my channel if you guys if you like my video and if you guys learn something new i'm gonna put a more videos on full stack development and thank you very much for watching guys uh bye for now